Hello and welcome to the next video in the BenchEasy Advanced Settings series. In this video we'll actually be looking at the customer's job section of our settings. Very, very self-explanatory and straightforward in here. We click on our customers. We are then presented with a list of our clients. Now, clients can either be added here or on the fly when you're actually producing a bench top. You have also an option where you can either use an abbreviation type file storage system such as this here or you can choose to use just pure and simply the builder's name. You can see that you can also make a builder inactive. If a builder or client is made inactive here, it will not be available for selection as a client when you're actually producing a bench top. As I said, this is a very, very straightforward section of the, the settings for BenchEasy Advanced. Not really that much else we need to cover here, but we will have a look at the jobs section. And in our jobs, once we get that open, as you can see here, we're presented with a list of our customers again, so that when we highlight each an individual client, or customer, we can see that we're presented with a, a list of job addresses. Now, it could be a job address, it could be, you might prefer to use a job number, work order number type system, but whichever way you choose to use it, this is the, the type of information that you will be presented with. Now, once you sort of get to your list of jobs that you've generated bench tops for, for a particular client, you can now come into here and then mark those jobs as inactive. Now, once a job has been made inactive, it will no longer be available for selection when you are actually producing a bench top. Again, a very, very straightforward sort of self-explanatory section of the settings. I hope you found this tutorial informative and we'll see you again in the next section where we'll be actually talking about the reporting facilities in BenchEasy Advanced. Thank you for watching.